When scientists do experiments, they're always recording data and making measurements. Sometimes the information they record is based on observation. This is called qualitative, meaning that it is based on an observation, but it's not directly measured and recorded numerically. For example, the water in the beaker is warm, would be a qualitative observation. I didn't actually go and measure the temperature of the water in the beaker. The other type of information that scientists record is quantitative, meaning that it is based on a measurement and it's reported numerically. An example would be the water in the beaker is 87 degrees. Notice how there's a number in the quantitative observation and not in the qualitative observation. If you have ever measured something more than once, you may have noticed that each time you may get a slightly different result. Any time you make a measurement, there's some degree of uncertainty related to that measurement. This is because no measuring device is perfect. Usually, the more high quality the measuring instrument is, the more precise your measurement will be. The precision of an instrument refers to the smallest repeatable digit that the instrument can measure to. For example, if you are measuring the mass of a pen and one balance reads 7.5 grams, while another, more precise balance measures 7.50 grams. The second balance will give you a more precise measurement. When reporting these measurements, it's extremely important to report all digits that are given. In math class, you may have learned that 7.50 is equivalent to 7.5. But when it comes to making and recording a measurement, the zero at the end is just as important as the 7 and the 5. This is because the zero tells the person reading the number that the balance measured out to the nearest hundredth place. It just happened to be a zero. It pretty much tells us that the second balance we used is a little more high-tech than the first one because it measures out farther. This zero is so important it is called a significant figure. A significant figure is a number that plays a role in the precision of a measurement. Don't confuse the word significant with important or certain. If a number is significant, it's just kept track of when reporting measured results and making calculations. It's very important to be able to work with significant figures correctly, so both the measurement and the precision of the instrument used are communicated. So if the last zero in 7.50 is significant, what numbers are not significant? First of all, all non-zero numbers are considered significant, as in the number 524, which has three significant figures. Also, zeros between two non-zero numbers, I like to call them sandwiched zeros, are significant, as in the number 9201, which has four significant figures. Leading zeros are not significant, as in the number 0.003 which has one significant figure. These zeros just serve as placeholders. The same number could have easily been written as 3 times 10 to the negative third without those leading zeros. Trailing zeros are only significant in numbers with a decimal point, as in the number 7.50, which has three significant figures. Trailing zeros in numbers that do not contain a decimal point are not significant as in the number 25,000, which only has two significant figures. These zeros also just serve as placeholders. For example, when finding the population of a town, the number 25,000 implies that the actual value is around 25,000 rounded to the nearest thousand, whereas the number 25,000 with a decimal point at the end implies that the actual value is 25,000. When you see a number, keep an eye out for the significant figures and decimal points. You will also need to pay close attention to numbers when you're doing calculations. Calculators do not identify significant figures, so you'll need to make sure you report the results of calculations with the correct number of significant figures. Anytime you're adding or subtracting, you will always report your answer with the same number of decimal places as the number with the least number of decimal places. For example, if you are adding 5.113 and 2.0, your answer 